Welcome to the charge! I'm Sir Franklin, and we're taking to the field today with the next part in our Alan Wake playthrough. Let's ride. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my... How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI. Nightingale, that sounds yeah. like a fake name. Anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, Ooh. I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Make it snappy. Folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. What a Rose limp, a poor guy. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. Oh, good. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned Just by a guy called this guy. Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place <laughs> came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Creepy. Also, where does Rose live? This seems like a creepy little back corner you got going. Oh, we're going through her backyard. It's a little weird. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Oh. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. A lot of walking, a lot of slow going here. I wonder what happened to his leg. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? Now that I've shown you where she lives. Talk to her, pal. Oh, okay. Good talk. I guess we're just going uh, straight in. So, you remember from the last video at the end of it, Rose had been, like, mind-controlled by the creepy Lady of Death. I think the lady represents darkness, something like that. to to oh dear mr wake i'm Ooh. i'm so glad you're here rose you have my manuscript oh oh yes yes please come in creepy scary creepy i bet she drugs hey, us this is really good but she drugs us the coffee rose yes my manuscript i really need it i understand I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. She drugged it. Knew it. Barry! Hey, he's down! What? What? Love the slow-mo. Gonna show the creepy the eyes. Nope. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. 
I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Okay, so we know for sure it's darkness, but it's parading around in Barbara, the dead lady's body. Uh, and did they say that I was Thomas Sins? Hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very mm -hmm. strict. I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. Oh no. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Absolutely terrifying. And yep, that tracks considering Rose is in love with Alan. Uh okay, so yeah, I guess we're gonna leave the trailer now. Rose took a day from me. I had less than twelve hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Very quiet. Yeah, okay, so that was the... I'm trying to make sure I'm not getting copyrighted here because I keep kind of getting warnings from YouTube that I have to adjust and mute the segments, and that's what you've seen in some past videos. All right, we'll turn turn this back up. Um, I wonder if it's the cinema. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> right. It's deserve more money. I'm so handsome. You're right, Barry, you handsome fellow. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? Or I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter Oof. there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Um. Have a nice day. Come back soon. Okay. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. We got it. But right. take a look at the manuscript. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business. Oh good, he thinks that we're bad people. Again, if you want to pause and read those, go for it. Otherwise, I'm just going to try and get through it. Hey. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you. There's another thermos. I hear something bad. Or creep. Yeah, yeah, there's Randolph over there. Again, I have no idea what the thermos does for us. If we unlock extra secrets or what. But it makes me feel better. Kind of checking the sides, see if there's oh, anything else. gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. Whoa. Damn maniac! 
It's because the darkness has gotten to I him too. To Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Uh-oh. All right. How fast are they? Oh, they're moving kind of quick. All right, we need to go. Man, they've got a man hunt going. This is when the stamina is kind of a big issue in the game. How close are they? Oh my gosh, they are right there. He's a magician. He disappeared just down this straight linear path. Okay, I guess we're going this way now. We're going to take an easy jog until we need to sprint. I need to conserve the stamina a little better here. Now the music does seem a little loud. How about... Is that a good... Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. He's gone! Come on, guys! We need to head him off! For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. Oh. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief... Oh, creepy, so it could tell that we were a writer and it wants um, to have some power again. Hold on. Again, this stuff is still just kind of loud. Uh, this doesn't seem good. Uh-oh. Nightingale is in trouble. Oh, never mind. Wait, I want to hear what he says. Good, tell him, Sheriff. I'm a federal agent pursuing a fugitive. You want to discuss my message, Sheriff? Make an appointment. Over. You stay right where you are, Agent Nightingale. I'm on my way. Out. He's a good sheriff. He's corrupted, obviously. Like he's he's been possessed by the darkness. She's not backing down. You gotta respect it. Drop hazard. Okay. Did somebody just take a shot at us? Oh. Uh-huh. You know, you feel pretty powerless without any weapons. I wish we at least had the flashlight and we could blind them or something. Uh-oh. Yikes! Okay, it got to them. Well, that's not good. So this this darkness is clearing a path for us. It seems like I don't know why it would this be doing that though. Was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Are they gonna pin all this destruction on us, like flipped vehicles and stuff, on a on an unarmed man on the run? That's okay, we're just going on a little jog, working on our cardio, getting our heart in good health. You on the ground. Hold right there. There's nowhere to run. Freeze! 
Jeez, it sent birds after them? I can't tell if it's helping us or not. It kind of seems like it is. I wonder if there's a, maybe a manuscript page over here. Nothing. I wonder if it did possess them, if it's helping us escape. I'm a little confused here if it's... I know it's not really helping us in the, like, the... the overall kind of thing here, but... It did help us escape, and I, I wonder if it needs us to finish the story. If we go out that way. We'll go up there and see if there's anything. I just kind of wanted to see if there was a thermos or a manuscript page. But maybe there's some up here. I would love to stay in a lookout tower like this, though, at some point. That would be pretty cool. This is We just came from over there. There's a lot of bad things going on. Oh, wow, this is a lot more sensitive. Oh, there's a thermos. Nice. Okay. Yeah, not good. Okay, it's kind of cool they threw that in there. Very scary. Interesting. Weird. He was drunk? Okay, I guess we're gonna keep going. Deal with this FBI agent. I I and really can't tell if he's possessed or not. In the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Sure. So this guy's either possessed or he's really drunk. Either one's not great. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Well, let's find a... Ah, there you go. Spotlight. We can call Batman and he can deal with this. There was no power to the searchlight. Right. Here we go. And a tug and a pull and we're good. Oh, a thermos. There it is. That's what we saw earlier. That's all ours. Now we just need to put you on the darkness. The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Oh, so it doesn't... it doesn't last that long. Okay. So we'll just go straight... oh, kick. What? Okay, come on, Alan. Come on, Alan. We gotta run, Alan. There it is. Well done. So we're gonna go to see the radio guy at the tower, and I'm hoping he's okay. So now the shadow's trying to stop us. I'm, I'm just, I'm really confused here. Maybe it needs us not in custody so we can keep riding, but it needs us not to link up with the other guy who seems to understand that this is powerful. They don't want him to have the power of this, this writing, I guess. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Oh, a flashy light. Yes. Yes, it feels good to have power. I don't know if we get a gun again, but at least we have something to work with. Oh my. There you go. Yeah, I'm on. Almost there. I don't want to focus and waste this right now. Cool. 
It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Uh, RV or I guess R1. And flash me. Ow. Woo, look at that dodge. Oh, didn't dodge that one. Okay, we need to use it. Well, that's not great. <laughs> oh, man, we're looking rough right now. Gentlemen, hello. Nice, we got that third one, too. We have three left. All right. Let's go over there. I would like to heal. There we go. Yes, give me all the flashbangs. Sweet. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. We go up that way. Nope. What's on your mind, Mill? Well, I live near the batteries. Nice. Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. <laughs> oh no, that's right by me. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, good boy. Is that everybody? Y'all didn't stand a chance against me and my big brain. And now we're going. Loving all the fog and how creepy this is, though. What? Ooh, dodge. Ow, ow. Bro, 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 I couldn't dodge. I couldn't even dodge. Oh, man, we got a... Oh, there's a manuscript page. I don't know how we missed that. Let's go get that. I know, I know, I know. All right, let's stay. Ow, ow. Bro, are you still not... Dude, come on. Oh, we're having some trouble. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on? <sighs> I have to be more patient with my dodges. I keep trying to spam them, and that just that doesn't work. Which is smart. It's smart game mechanics, because then you're not... It's not broken. Okay, there's all that. Let's go get that manuscript page. I wonder if I can go back and touch up on health. What do we got? Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come. Yikes. Poor Rose, so she's kind of, she's kind of aware of what's going on. She's just trapped in her body as this darkness kind of makes her do this stuff. Well... That was the light out. All right. It looks like our health's charging up anyways, though, so that's fine. This next part is where we kind of got beat up, so I need to be careful here. Probably just throw, throw the flashbangs immediately. So one there. Ow! Okay, there's three of them. Is there anybody else? Was that it? Alright, we're gonna keep going. Oh. Oh, this arrow tricked us. 
Nice, got everybody there too. Pretty good. Um, where... Where do we go? Here we go, thank you. Saying to go this way. not dead man I just had to use all of the flashbangs to follow these yellow arrows and I don't even know okay is it I'm pretty sure it's pointing this way and then we got attacked when we went there if we get attacked again we're just kind of SOL oh Oh, man. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Not worth it. Whatever it is, we're just gonna run. Man! Bro, there's a light here. Oh, it's not on. Yeah, there was there was nothing we could do there. Now now we know that I just misread the arrows. Are we back here again? Are you serious? Awesome. Love that. Love that for us. <sighs> Great. Okay. We have five left. Okay, and we saw that page already. We're going to get attacked one more time. But we're not in combat, so our health is going to go up. Let that go for a second. Weird. I uh oh. Is it timed? Ooh. Okay, we've got, what, three left? Okay, we know where to go now. And we have three flash rings. We're going to get that light on. That's going to be a safe spot. No, 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 no. There you go. Let's get this light on. Okay. Sweet. This light can't go in there. Oh, right, I forget. Sometimes. And we have flares. Okay. I guess we go this way. The, the problem is they move so fast. I'm surprised that guy didn't uh, die. Yep, he's still after us. 
Dude, we are insanely s Ow, he's got range. We going through here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you feel so helpless. You don't have a weapon. A car to get to the coal mine. That's Lorna Miles. Thermos. We have those lights. I wonder if we have to go out that way afterwards. Early bird. 7 to 10 a.m. The night out. Ah, oh, that's Pat Main. Okay. All night, every night. Wow. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. No way to run now, Dan Brown. You got away from me. Dan Brown. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Yikes. On the run again. And I'll get you yet, even if it kills me. You hear me? You hear me, HP Lovecraft? Why is he calling us different I writers? So many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good so I hadn't weird. had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Mm -hmm. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you... Yikes. Yeah, that guy is going to get arrested at some point. Okay, we have flares. We are on the run again. No weapons. At least we have a flashlight. The flashlight, we can at least stun them for a second. Okay, we're gonna run because, yep. There it is. Oh, and we have a gun. We can fight, and it feels good. All right. I'm ready for you guys now. I do appreciate that the faster you tap X, the faster you reload in this. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Interesting. Ooh, and a flashbang. And some ammo! Beautiful. No, 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 no! Don't go out. Work with me. And we have the shotgun. I love it. Oh, there, there's five. That's a lot. Alright, wanna do that? We 
There we go. Need to be a little careful. Okay, we got one. Uh-oh. Is that everybody? Man, that was rough. Could I have run around and turned this back on? Was it on a time? It was. I could have run around and gotten him that way instead of wasting all this ammo. <sighs> okay. Need to learn how to play a little smarter, not harder. Hold on. Manuscript page over there. And I know they're baiting me. I know they're going to pop out when I go to get it. I can make a break for it running back towards the light, but I think the page is important. The bulldozer's engine roared oh, in life. No. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily. So we're going to have to fight an actual bulldozer. I like a good challenge, why not? I do want to see what's over here as well. God, very dark. Well, I guess we don't really need any of that. It's smart how they put you into this, too, because now you can't really tell if there are enemies coming or not. You know that they'll probably pop out at some point, but it doesn't always give you a heads up. Now I hear him. Sarah trusted her gut. And her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank. Oh, a train. And we have the shotgun. Nice. Okay. So plenty of ammo. Plenty of batteries. Uh, and we can switch to the shotgun if we need to. I kind of want to save that either for bosses or the big boys. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. Something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow. Chad? The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel oh, framework. Oh, no. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching for a moment. We're going to have objects attack us, so this leads up to the bulldozer. There's nobody controlling this stuff. Called me. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Interesting. All right. I guess we are supposed to go this way. It seemed like we could have gone the other way, too. I don't really know, though. Maybe it's the illusion of choice. This is where... the possessed object attacks us. Oh, this is sketchy. Part of me would love to explore a place like this. The other part, yeah, it's like, no. I don't want to get all banged up. The darkness up. that was pursuing me was growing stronger. 
and it was taking over every I didn't know that like opposite shore. Okay. I hoped I could find Okay, I didn't know that everything was just gonna fly at me. Uh I guess we need to shine the light when it starts to get that bad. We'll try that. Did not realize how dangerous this was gonna be. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in the time. Dude, I hit that with the light. Opposite shore. Oh, I man. I could find can we go the other way? I don't think we can. I would love if we could, but I don't think we can. Is that where we were, or is this a little secret area? Okay. Get some more supplies, I guess. I like that we're stocking up on the ammo, but the problem is, what good is that going to do for us right now? Oh, the flares. Let's do that. That is perfect, actually. There's one more. There he is. Okay, that was still worth it. That was absolutely worth it. Come on, Alan, get in there. There we go. So that's what we'll do. We'll pop flares and just run. Goal's just going to be to get to the other side. As fast as possible, using as little of our resources as possible. The problem is, it's getting to a point where the stamina is a huge issue. But again, that's not a crazy long way. We just need to get past that part where they're all coming at us. But I'm pretty sure the, if the flashlight can stop them, the flare can stop them too. So we just pop a couple of those uh, and go from there. I do want to try and save the flashbangs because those are as good as, you know, a regular grenade uh, against, you know, the darkness. So that's what we'll do. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in the world. Dodge it. Oh no. Woo! No, 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 please no. That, I think, has been the most stressful part so far. Did we go that way? No, I think we gotta go around. That's fine. Get me out of there. That was really rough. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. 
Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. Oh. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Okay, so we have a heavy duty flashlight now? I guess. I wonder if that consumes batteries uh, faster, maybe? Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's go back and grab that extra. Yep. I don't know if the heavy duty really did anything different. Maybe it just takes longer to go down. have one regular guy with a big guy it is difficult what i probably should have done was take out the little guy first and then i could focus on dodging the big guy but we live and we learn unless we die which in this game is a huge possibility in light you can hurt them thank you thank you is there anything this way no okay we gotta go up We have 12 shells now, it's pretty good. Flare, yes, thank you. Some revolver ammo to top off with some lithium batteries. Oh, we're maxed out. Nice! We do seem to be using the batteries pretty efficiently. We take the facts of our existence oh. for granted. Unaware that okay. they are merely a thin veneer of desert a thin veneer. covering the vast cosmos of madness and The darkness surged toward me. Sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just... Oh, we're gonna fall into the lake. How exciting for us. What? Oh, is it fall damage? What did that to us? Huh. Okay. We need to get over there and raise this gate. sure there is at least one more guy. Come on, come on, batteries, batteries, just grab them. I was full on batteries, and I tried to grab the batteries, because I'm an idiot, and it killed me. Ugh, oh, why did I do that? Alright, alright, that's fine. Oh, I can't skip this either.
Oh, didn't know he was right there. Okay, can he get through that? Oh, he absolutely can. Maybe? Maybe not. Good. Good, that was a little stressful. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. All right, that seems like a pretty good place to stop for right now, but we run from the FBI and the police. Things are looking great. We fought a bulldozer for some godforsaken reason. But now we're about to get to the coal mine and see if this kidnapper actually has Alice. We'll go from there. I want to thank you for joining the charge today, and I will see you on the next battlefield. Till then.